Hello everyone, today I will be showing you how to take a very high resolution photo in Skyrim. Now, right off the bat, fraps you can't use if you're doing anything higher than your monitor's default resolution, like if yours is 1920 by 1080. If you upscale that to a 4K, it'll only take a 1080p picture in the top left hand corner, so it will not work. So I'll show you the way around that. Uh, I'm going to assume that you have an ENB because you do need an ENB for this to work. And um, just I'll show you how to get it right so that you don't mess up. Alright, so first things first, you need to go to three different places. You need to find your regular Skyrim any file and your Skyrim preferences any file. They're going to be in your documents folder on my, your computer. First thing you're going to want to look for in the Skyrim Mini is you're going to want to find under display, you want to change B allow screenshot to 1. This will allow the print screen button on your keyboard. It's right above insert usually. It'll allow that button to actually take a screenshot instead, which is the workaround for fraps. And it, it does take a full resolution screen uh, cap. Well, in your Skyrim perfs, you're going to want to change your resolution when uh, it comes time, but you can wait right now. In your ENB local any file, you want to find under engine, add display super sampling resolutions. You want to set that to true, file save it. Also make sure you file save the Skyrim any. I'm changing the LS screenshot to 1. And now, whatever you normally run Skyrim at, like if it's 1920 by 1080, Multiply 1920 by 2 and multiply 1080 by 2. Let me show you. And that is a 4K. See how that's 4K now? And also with the 1080 times it by 2, that should be 2160, yes. So that's 2160. So, if you're doing 1920 by 1080 in your Skyrim perfs, so you're going to want to change your height to 2160 and your width to 3840p. And if you're like me and you have a 1440p standard resolution, then you can go up to 2880 on the height and uh, 5160 with the width. But I will not be doing that because it it just doesn't run uh it's bare it's really just for screenshots cuz it'll screen cap the full thing it'll downscale for your monitor but the graphics card is still technically outputting a full resolution so when you want to start Skyrim just go in I'll show you how to do this. This will not be in the. Technically, it's 5K for me, but I'll just show you what you have to do. Show you how this works. The best way to do it is when it first starts up, you want to press Shift F12. So this is default. It'll turn off the ENB. So we got the ENB off, and then we're just going to go. In the game. Hopefully, everything's all good. I'm also on an older set of drivers. It's the 30... 320.49 drivers from NVIDIA. They have better ambient inclusion. So I'm using those. That's why I can't use Shadowplay to record this, unfortunately. But, it's okay. Perhaps works just as good. Sort of. Right, so, hopefully, no crashy. I'll just look at, the, look at this so it doesn't crash. Alright, so we're looking at this. It's, it's running fine, because I don't have the NB on. But this is what you want to do. I'm going to make sure that this is working. So, just... What I like to do is get the scene set up, and then when you got it all set up, you got, you know, your toggled menu, you turn that off, 
you know, your free cannon. Free cannon around. I like, oh, I like, I like this. Random dude. I'm the commander of the guard here in the I don't care. All right, so we're just like, all right, I like this scene. Maybe, maybe you just like, right about there, and then you just turn the EMB back on and shift F12. Like, all right, I like it there. So then you just pre press the print screen button. Do it a couple times. There it goes. It should uh, freeze for a second. And we definitely know that worked. So now we can just quit out. All right, now that we're back on the desktop, what we can do is check to see if it worked. It'll always store them in the directory folder of where Skyrim is. I have a shortcut to mine. It's normally defaulted to C. I believe it's C. Hold on. It's computer, C, Steam, Steam Apps, Common Skyrim. And it, they'll be right here. It always makes two copies. It'll make low res copies. Slightly lower res copies. And then slightly better copies. Right here. It's the ones we took. There's that one. And the other one. Now to prove that I was taking super high resolution photos as you can see, this screenshot, 5120 by 2880. So let's just take a look at, take a look at this one. Oh, while taking this, I was getting about two frames a second. It's a nightmare, but it's great for screenshots. I mean, you could just, you can zoom in like infinitely and not get pixels. Like you have to be this close. You can still make out her eye. That's how good this is. And then, you know, if, like, oh, you want to upload your photos to the Nexus Mod uh, site, well, it's kind of easy. Um, it depends, though. Uh, usually Photoshop's your best uh, solution. What I usually do is I just um, convert it to a JPEG. want to go back to your Skyrim directory, open up whichever one, open up the same one, and then you just gonna save it as, I'm going to go JPEG, usually save it to the desktop, and then the Nexus Mod Manager usually has a, a maximum size of 1.5 uh, at 10 with a very, very high res photo like the 50 ones, uh, they will be much larger usually. Uh, like see there's 3.4 mag. So let's we have to bring this down to under 1.5. There's 1.3. Let's try 11. No, it's not gonna happen. It's gonna have to be 10. And just hit OK. And here is our high res photo in JPEG format. 5120. There it is. So now it's a little bit smaller. It retains most of the color which is just great because Steam just takes horrible pictures. So we can just zoom in. Resolution will be pretty identical. It's not going to be quite as good. It's going to be close. But there you have it. How to take super high-res photos with Skyrim. It took me a little while to find it, but I did, and I was so glad I did wanted to share it with you guys because I didn't see a video anywhere on how to do this so I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next video <laughs>
Show me.